Courtrooms all over the world deal with crimes ranging from petty theft to terrible murders every day. But now and again, a case that truly shocks the system will appear before the jury. These sorts of high-profile cases have inspired some fantastic courtroom drama movies that have gone down in movie-making history as some of the most gripping, entertaining, and heart-wrenching stories to play on the silver screen. In today's video, we're looking at the top 10 courtroom drama movies of all time. Number 10. Primal Fear We're kicking this list off with a thrilling courtroom drama starring Richard Gere as acquisitive Chicago defense attorney Martin Vail, who has focused his legal career on taking on only the biggest and highest paid cases. Up until now, Vail has displayed no real moral compass guiding his decisions regarding the criminal clients he defends. But when 19-year-old altar boy Aaron Stampler is accused of brutally murdering the Archbishop of Chicago, Vail's outlook changes. For the first time, Vail actually believes his client is innocent. As Vail faces off in court against the attorney's former love interest and prosecutor, Janet Venable, the case takes a series of shocking twists and turns that throws Vail's defense of Stampler into disrepute. Primal Fear is an excellent watch for anybody that loves a courtroom drama with a revolutionary surprise around every corner. Number 9. Philadelphia Philadelphia centers on the stigma surrounding HIV and homosexuality in the late 20th century, becoming one of the first Hollywood films to acknowledge the issue. Tom Hanks stars as out-of-work attorney Andrew Beckett, who has recently been fired after his workplace discovered he has AIDS. Homophobic lawyer Joe Miller, played by Denzel Washington, offers Beckett legal aid. Despite his own homophobic feelings towards Beckett, Miller expertly navigates the case and overcomes his antipathy towards his client. Philadelphia was somewhat groundbreaking in its approach to social issues at the time, and its cast even included 53 HIV-positive members. Number 8. A Few Good Men Aaron Sorkin's 1992 military legal drama shines a light on corruption and cover-ups within the U.S. Army. The plot follows Navy lawyer Daniel Caffey, played by Tom Cruise, and his struggle to believe in his capabilities whilst he tries to get to the bottom of the murder of a Marine recruit at Guantanamo Bay. Caffey soon realizes that those in charge will do anything to keep their names clean, culminating in an intense cross-examination of secular Marine Colonel Nathan Jessup, played by Jack Nicholson. Rather suspiciously, the U.S. Department of Defense refused to endorse the film, meaning that the crew couldn't use any U.S. military installations for filming. Make of that what you will. Number 7. In the Name of the Father The first non-American movie on our list tells the true story of the members of the Guildford Four, who were a group of Irishmen wrongly convicted of bombing a pub in the English village of the same name. In the movie, we follow the life of Jerry Conlon, a petty thief who escapes to England during the Troubles in the 70s. Portrayed by Daniel Day-Lewis, In the Name of the Father vividly depicts the intense paranoia that consumed the authorities during the tensions between Britain and the Loyalists and the IRA. The movie received seven Academy Award nominations and nowadays serves as a harrowing reminder of the consequences of simply being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Number 6. Shahid Based on the life of human rights lawyer Shahid Azmi, Shahid encapsulates the emotion present as tensions between Hindus and Muslims in India once again escalated at the end of the 20th century. The movie portrays the story of a man who managed to overcome a potential life of extremism to advocate in India's courts for Muslims charged under the controversial Prevention of Terrorism Act passed in 2002. Azmi, played by Raj Kumar Rao, is shown to be an inspiring and triumphant protagonist. Some viewers may, however, disagree with this, and the movie does a good job of allowing the audience to decide who and what is truly right and wrong. Ultimately, Shahid is an impressive attempt at depicting an extremely sensitive and somewhat tragic story. Number 5. Miracle in Cell Number 7 Whilst Miracle in Cell Number 7 may be an entertaining comedy legal drama on the surface, the premise of the film itself isn't particularly funny. The original Korean film has been adapted in several countries, and each different version has a slightly different tone to it, but for the sake of this video, we're looking at the original. The movie follows a mentally challenged man named Yong Gu when he was wrongly imprisoned for the alleged murder of a police commissioner's daughter. Whilst in jail, Yong Gu forms an unlikely bond with some of the institution's hardest criminals who rally around the accused as he tries to smuggle his daughter in to see him. The Turkish version of the movie, released in 2019, is much more poignant than the Korean original and misses the comedy element of the original. 
but ultimately, both films center on the theme of ongoing, powerful hope, and a strong family bond in whatever form that may be. Number 4. Judgment at Nuremberg World War II ravaged not just one nation, but our entire globe. It's imprinted in many countries' history for both good and bad reasons, and many movies have portrayed the immense sacrifice made by millions of young men who fought for freedom and the suppression of hateful and tyrannical regimes. The Nuremberg trials are infamous. They brought many of the worst Nazi war criminals to justice, but once the Allies had brought the trials to a close, they were keen to move on and forget. Judgment at Nuremberg, starring Spencer Tracy, is a powerful depiction of the judges' trials held by the Americans, who were intent on bringing even more Nazi perpetrators to justice once the official trials had finished. Number 3. To Kill a Mockingbird The movie adaptation of Harper Lee's celebrated novel of the same name, To Kill a Mockingbird, tells the heart-wrenching story of attorney Atticus Finch, played by Gregory Peck, who defends a black man accused of raping a young white girl. Expertly portraying the intense prejudices present at the time, To Kill a Mockingbird was released at the beginning of the 60s, a decade which saw, arguably, the biggest advancements in the fight for civil rights up until that point. Changing attitudes at the time were reflected in the movie's box office figures as it brought in around $13 million, more than six times its budget. Only two years later, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 would be passed. Number 2. Witness for the Prosecution A classic Agatha Christie murder mystery, Witness for the Prosecution, has a surprise around every corner, when the aging Sir Wilfred Robarts, expertly played by Charles Lawton, takes on the enigmatic Leonard Vole as a client, an atmosphere of deceit, disloyalty, and all-out shocks consumes both Robarts as the attorney and the trial itself. A classic, enthralling British courtroom drama, Witness for the Prosecution portrays, first and foremost, the lack of trustworthiness in the legal industry, as well as the difficulty of determining where the fine line between good and bad stands. Despite being released over 60 years ago, the plot is refreshingly thrilling for even the most contemporary critic. As they say, the original is always the best, and the 1957 version of the movie has been credited with revolutionizing plot construction in 20th century film. And our number one pick is 12 Angry Men. Coming in first on our list is Sidney Lumet's masterpiece, Twelve Angry Men. Unlike the previous films on our list, Twelve Angry Men examines the delicate chemistry between the group of twelve total strangers, the jury, thrown in a room together to either free or condemn the accused, rather than focusing on the showman in court, the lawyers. When an 18-year-old boy is accused of brutally murdering his father, juror number eight, played by Hollywood star Henry Fonda, forces the twelve other jurors to question their morality perspectives, and identity with the life of the accused at stake. The movie's superb ensemble cast skillfully portrays the tensions that arise when ordinary people are tasked with making the inconceivably grave decision of whether somebody's life will be ended. And whilst the jurors will ultimately be changing the life of the accused, it's arguably their lives that truly change when 12 angry men retire to deliberate a boy's freedom. For this reason, 12 angry men tops our list, and to put it in legal lingo, this verdict, in our opinion, is most definitely beyond reasonable doubt. Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.